On Wednesday afternoon, Hudson County TV met up with West New York Commissioner Count Wiley to discuss a number of issues lingering in West New York. So, Count, first of all, we wanted to talk to you about how you've added two new commissioners to your slate. Uh, could you tell us who a little about, about who they are and why you chose them? Uh, sure. Um, Pastor Ralph Sanchez's name is... He's a Dominican fellow. I wanted to have that representation in the town, which is most important. Um, phenomenal guy. He's given back. He has a small church there in the community. He owns property also in West New York, and he has every interest, interest in that town than anybody else does. As I said, he's done a lot of things in the food pantries, um, providing for the poor, clothes, food. And, you know, he's the kind of commission that gives something back. He's going to really benefit this town. Um, he's also very educated in business. He uh, puts people into business as far as... He's, he's probably made about seven, eight people successful in that town through the way he helps and does things through his uh, community and his church. Um, phenomenal, great wife, um, very strong woman. They have three children. You know, that's something that I'm looking to bring back to West New York, the family values. The other gentleman is uh, Doug Richards. He's a very uh, qualified candidate. He's probably in his uh, about 60 years old. He's um, a Harvard Law School graduate. Mm -hmm. um, I look at him. He's the representation for the waterfront. Like I said, the waterfront has over 3,000 registered voters in it. And we need to bridge this gap between the waterfront and West New York. There's plenty of money down there that could be spent up here in the community. And that's what happens. You know, usually the money goes around. When you spend it, you bring home your check and you spend it within your town. And I want to encourage that any way I can because I know it's going to make a difference here. And you know West New York is changing every day. After Commissioner Cal Wiley told us about the two new candidates running out of slate, he had a lot to say about West New York hiring North Bergen Concerned Citizens Group attorney Mario Blanche. Interesting you brought up the law department because I was going to ask you if you were aware that uh, Mario Blanche, he's also an attorney for the North Bergen Concerned Citizens Group, uh, began work on Monday. Now, as you're well aware, at last Wednesday's executive session at the commissioner meeting, there was a resolution to hire him and it was tabled. And, you know, as you also know, he gave a press conference back in October, which spurred all this controversy about you using um, North Bergen DPW workers in your office, which you later said was about shared services. So with all that being said, I mean, do you know how exactly he was hired? Then what is your take on Mr. Blanche being hired? Look, now, first, let's ask the question, is he qualified? No, he's not. He's never done any government law uh, as far as, as as a lawyer. He has no experience. And if, obviously, this isn't a decision that was made for uh, the benefit of West New York. This is a decision he's making for political reasons. And like everybody else that's around him, Gil Garcia, he's another attorney. This attorney's been censored twice already, you know, uh, once in New York, here in New Jersey. Uh, let's talk about the character of the deputy mayor. Again, another guy around him who has a half a million dollars in fines that they're trying to push through without him having to abate those fines or pay for them. You know, this is corruption at its best. You know, an assistant town attorney, you know, another one who's, who's just taking orders and not representing the five people that are representing the town. Um, Mario Blanche is going to be a thorn in the side of West New York. He's going to be sucking off the town like a leech, pretty much. Um, remember something, Mario Blanche also has a firm, his own private practice, which I know as a doctor and as an attorney friends of mine, it's a full-time job. So I don't see where Mario Blanche is going to be spending 35 hours a week here to work in West New York and do the work that's really involved. So he, he's not here for the right reasons. He was never appointed here for the right reasons. This is definitely a gentleman that I would not approve to be working in the town of West New York. So this is, like I said, all comes back to the mayor, the poor decisions that he makes, the poor quality that he's produced here. There's no fruits to his labor in West New York. And, I, and this is something that I'm going to watch very closely. I will be watching Blanche to see if he is there, a full-time position getting paid for that, as I would do with any other employee in West New York. Later, he gave us some breaking news about the fact that he has criminal charges pending against Mayor Felix Roque, as well as his aide, Richie Rivera, for some alleged threats they made towards him at a commissioner meeting earlier this month. Um, not this past town meeting, but the previous one that was a special meeting, I believe it was last month, um, Richie, uh, what happened was after the incident, it occurred in the meeting, which was really uh, bizarre that a mayor would even do this in a, in a position that he's in being indicted. He had walked off the platform. He came over, tried to come over to where I was sitting. And, I, and as soon as he came over to me, I said, listen, I don't have anything to say to you. I have nothing to discuss with you. He pretty much put his hand over his mouth and said a bunch of vulgar words to me. Um, one of them was shoving me and also telling me he was going to kick my butt pretty much. And that's what he said to me. 
And then I said, and I says, you know, I don't know if he was trying to entice me into a fight or he was upset about something, but this is something that I was not going to participate in. Um, obviously, I can handle myself, but this was this so I, I put a complaint against him for threatening me. And as he walked off the podium and I, and I walked off behind him, Richie Rivera came running over saying to me, I never heard anything. He never said nothing from the other side of the room, which he was nowhere near us. Um, and I pretty much said to him, I was pretty disappointed in you, Rich. You're, you know, you're a real dog for even acting this way in any way to come and, you know, to defend something that you're not even around. And, you know, you're really, it's a, you're a disappointment too here in West New York. And what happened is I walked away. Richie came in the back of my ear and said pretty much someone's going to break your jaw, you know, and threaten me like that in that manner. Again, it was a lot worse than what I'm saying it to be now. And I don't want to, and I did write a compl another criminal complaint against him right after that meeting was over. I went down to the, to the uh, clerk's office, to the lawyer, actually, the law department, and had a, and filed two complaints against them for harassment. I'm John Hydes with Hudson County TV. For more information, log on to HudsonCountyTV.com.